Well, good morning. This is Pastor Keith Hodges, and I want to welcome you today to Every Day Sunday. Psalms 118 verse 24 says, This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Well, it is Friday. I pray you've had a great week. I'm coming to you a little bit this morning sweaty. Uh, just finished a workout about 30 minutes ago, but I hope that you're grabbing hold of your day. I hope that this week has been fruitful and as we prepare for kind of a long weekend this weekend, I pray that you're ready to go back to church. We want to welcome you back to Liberty. If you're looking for a place to gather, uh, you can gather with us in person uh, in Arab or at Holly Pond, or you can gather with us online this Sunday uh, for our 9:30 and 11 o'clock services. We'd love to have you and welcome you as a part of our Liberty Church family. Well, this morning, uh, I want to talk to you about grief, loss, and hope. Grief, loss, and hope. And I want us to read Lamentations chapter 3. Uh, Jeremiah the prophet, known as the weeping prophet, writes these words. He says, I cried out and my splendor is gone. Everything I had hoped for from the Lord is lost. The thought of my suffering and homelessness is bitter beyond words. I will never forget this awful time as I grieve over my loss. I will never forget this awful time as I grieve over my loss. I want you to hear uh, the emotion and the pain in his words because this is important. I want you to hear this today. Now look at verse 20. He says, Yet I still dare to hope when I remember this. The faithful love of the Lord never ends. His mercies never cease. Great is his faithfulness and his mercies begin afresh each morning. I say to myself, the Lord is my inheritance. Therefore, I will hope in him. So this morning, I want to do something maybe a little bit unique. I want to give you permission to grieve your losses. I want to give you permission this morning to grieve your losses. Jeremiah the prophet is crying out to God. He's declaring how awful, how painful, the suffering, the thought, the anguish of what he's went through, losing his home, losing even what he said at the very beginning, all of his hope and everything that he had expected was gone. I want to encourage you today to grieve your losses. And let me tell you why. Not only is it normal to grieve, it is necessary to grieve. Because if you don't grieve your losses, I want you to hear me today, if you don't grieve your losses, you will get stuck in them. And you may say, well, how can I get stuck in something I'm not even dealing with? Well, the fact that you're not dealing with it, it is still eating away on the inside of you. Joyce Myers has a quote that I love. She says, anything buried alive never dies. Until you deal with it, until you work through the grief, until you bring it to the cross, until you give it to God, until you process through the grief of your loss, the thing that is buried within you will continue to eat away at your life. And the reality is simply this. If you don't deal with your grief, hear me, you will get stuck. And if you get stuck, it will destroy you. And we have all, if you'll just look around, maybe even look in the mirror this morning, we all have seen people get stuck in their grief. And all of a sudden, it eats away at them from the inside. It robs them of life. It literally destroys them. They lose their joy. They lose their hope. They lose their peace. They lose their purpose for life and for living. And so I want you to understand this morning a couple things. God, uh, God understands and God sees your grief and your loss. And right now we're living in a pandemic and a lot of people have lost a lot of things from their jobs, maybe their homes, maybe their businesses, and maybe even their churches or ministries that have had been shut down uh, because of the setbacks or uh, the financial setbacks or the physical sickness and death that has happened. I wanna encourage you today, grieve your losses. Take them to God, cry out to the Lord, call a friend, meet with a counselor, meet with your pastor, reach out to somebody and work through your grief. There is life on the other side of loss. Let me say it again. There is life on the other side of loss, but grief keeps you stuck in the loss of yesterday so that you can't move into the life that today and tomorrow holds for you. Let me give you just a couple thoughts as we wrap this up today. So the only way to come out of grief is to dare to hope again. I love what Jeremiah said. He said, I'll never forget this awful time as I grieve over my loss. But then he says, yet I still dare to hope 
when I remember. I still dare to hope. The only way to come out of the grief of loss is to dare to hope again. The world says, don't get your hopes up. But I want to just tell you today, the only way to come out of grief and loss is to get your hope up. So I want to dare you this morning. I want to dare you to do what Jeremiah did. I want to dare you to remember the faithfulness of God. I want to dare you to remember the love of God. I want to dare you to remember his mercies that begin afresh every morning because there is great grace and there is great mercy and there is great love and God is the God of all comfort and I just believe this I dare you to remember how good God is in the midst of your loss in the midst of your grief remember the faithfulness of God remember how he's carried you through how he has sustained you how he has blessed you how he has helped you how he has continued to show up and walk into your life when everybody else was walking out I want you to remember that I want to dare you to remember and then I want to dare you to do one more thing today I want to dare you look what he said in that last verse verse 24 I say to myself, I want to dare you to say to yourself, I will hope in the Lord. I want to dare you to open your mouth and begin every day and say, I will hope in the Lord. I will hope in the Lord. We can grieve our losses, but we have to make sure that we're grieving them so we can work through them because on the other side of loss is life. And if you dare to hope, if you dare to remember, if you dare to say that your hope is in the Lord, I promise you this, you'll come out, you'll get unstuck, and you'll find life that God has for you today. God bless you today as you grieve your losses and find hope again.